Hello everybody, welcome back to Prince of Persia, episode 8. I remember to look this time. Uh, so, last time we were in here we just killed all these guys, and now I will go grab this. Yes, Farah, I know, but first let's grab this. Here is uh, another stand. And now, where is it? Yeah, over there. Uh, so... Uh, for those who watched last episode, do remember I mentioned that the puzzle is mostly just finding two boxes, and here's the other one. Uh, oh, now I have to move behind it. Drop, drop. Here we go. One of the easier things to do in this game. Oh, yeah, something I discovered. Your controls when pushing something or moving something is entirely dependent on which angle the camera is. Going away from the camera is always forward, never anything else. Okay, uh, here, let's heal before I forget. I don't quite remember what's next, I think it's just another trap puzzle area where you have to run across the halls, but I would rather not test that. Around, up, 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 oh, and down. Oopsies. Uh, so, since the last episode, I have finally beaten the game. So, hopefully, I won't do as much mess ups as I did last time, and I can have context for a lot of things going. Of course. Yeah, it's. This is. You basically need to run straight there. Oh, no, no! Oh. Right. You don't do that, because then you As just you land wish. right in the save point. My bad. And the door closed, didn't it? Yep. Jump! Roll! Roll! There. Got through the door. Just barely. Okay. Here we go. On we go. So you could actually jump that. I just tend to run along the walls rather than jump them. But, yeah. Most of these you can just jump if you don't want to run. Oh. Oh yes, this area. Where are we? This was the Sultan Zoo. Alright. And first thing is on the other other side. Oops. Yeah. What? Another sander over here. guys are interesting. If I recall correctly, I'm going to test it here, but I think these guys are immune to jump to you jumping off the wall. Yeah, they block you. So, these guys are a little bit difficult at times, but not impossible. Save for it. Go. Here's another save point. There's the incoming what you're supposed to do. Into the Sultan Zoo we go. I'll start the story from here next time. <laughs> start the story. Are you all right? 
Yes. Alright. Up here. And time to climb a tree. This entire area is honestly one big, like, jumping puzzle. Which, honestly, makes it one of the easier areas in the game. Even if it, uh, oops. I misaimed that, my bad. Even if this, honestly, this area introduces one of the more annoying enemies in the entire game. You did Birds. Yeah, they survived the these guys. I don't think they did survive. Thankfully, they are one shot hold, so they're not the worst thing in the world. But later on, these things become very, very annoying. Especially when they do this and just aren't within range for it to consider it combat. Oh. That's right, before I can actually kill these guys, it's, that's a useful thing. Ah! A counter! By accident. I still... I've beaten this game and I still don't know how to counter on on Q. I, I still don't. I, I tried. I just fail. Often. Anyways. Here, pull out Look, the box. Okay, here we go. And then she comes out over here, I believe. Yep, there we go. The fabled menagerie of Azad. The Sultan's pride and joy. It had been one of the wonders of the world. As a child, I had dreamed of it and longed to see it with my own eyes. Now it was a place of terror. An abandoned ruin laid waste by the sands of time. Here I am! Yeah, this entire area is a big, this entire area is quite simple. There's no hidden stuff or anything. You just, you just platform. It's nice to have a straightforward area for once. No, no fights, no nothing. You just platform. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think it's, I think you go up here now. Oh, oh okay, game. Get yeah, game. Please. Okay. Uh, you know what? That works. Yeah. So you can run this way, but you run into a brick wall. And plummet. Otherwise you... Huh. Also, everyone else may have figured this out already, but uh, at some point over playing this game, I have re finally figured out what the white circle is. It's the indicator of how far you can actually reverse reverse time with the dagger. I didn't realize that until I was almost finished the game, or rather until I died about five times because I couldn't turn back after killing enemy and proceeding to get clubbed by a different one. Yeah, I've said it before and I'll say it again, I'm not that great at this game. Here's one of those points where the weird control scheme really comes back to bite you. Because you can't hold it, you actually have to like circle the movement in order for it to turn properly. It's annoying. Oh, jump, and here's another save point. Uh, so I know I've probably said this multiple times, but uh, I will. I will once again thank those who have been watching this Done. for putting up I'll with start the story from here next time. Awkward commentary, disjointed comments, and, and awkward periods of silence. Um, for those who have been watching that, I, I genuinely thank you. Because, God, 
I know it's probably been very difficult to hear me mumble and not quite know what I'm doing. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been quite, I have a newfound Thanks. respect for the people who make a living out of this. I really do, because talking for 15, 20 minutes on end and keeping people engaged is very if difficult. If you have believed the rest of my tale until now, perhaps you will also believe me when I tell you that, as we made our way through the moonlit ruins, I began to feel strangely drawn to the girl on my side. My reason told me to distrust her, for she had good cause to hate me, yet she had proven herself a loyal companion. And, I confess, I was grateful for the company of someone who, like me, was flesh and blood. Grateful for someone who was also flesh and blood. You know what? Fair. I can understand that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Stop. Stop. G game. Game, please stop with that. I think I've mentioned it before, but uh, the controls sometimes don't like working. <laughs> there we go. Hit the door. And in here... I'm fine, thanks. ...is another stand. Right. Yeah. So it says it down there, but yeah. Once you have six tanks, if you have more tanks than you have the little crescents, you can't use the the big time stop move you just you can't it doesn't work you need to get you need to get them matched up again hey, there's no door. stand on that pressure plate will you there we go now we're through this way I don't know can't you crawl through a crack or something? <laughs> Narration. Glad for somebody somebody else helping. In-game comments. I don't know, can't you do a job that you I need you to do? <laughs> honestly, honestly, when you're going through this game, the prince is a bit of a jerk. And yes, I learned, <laughs> I realized at some point that you can dive underneath those swinging blades, which truthfully, back when we encountered them on the, on the overhang, is probably how you were meant to get past there in the first place. You did it. Don't sound so surprised, Para, <laughs> please. <laughs> you sound like I'm an idiot. I mean, I am. I'd like to think I can at least get through something like that. So. Uh, oh, no, let's not let's don't do that. Okay. Jump. So that we can get the save point. Don't. Just do yourself all favor. Don't go over there from the bridge. It leads to literally nowhere. And I remember spending like f five minutes trying to jump back across and just not being able to because of the bad camera. It wasn't fun. And water. Done. I'll start the story from here next time. And with that, I'm going to be following in the prince's footsteps, and we'll be starting from here next episode. So, uh, I wish all of you a good day, and uh, I will see you in the next episode. Bye.